Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And do you know what a Lenovo ThinkPad is? Which is the laptop I have in my hand. I'm sure you recognize the name, extremely popular. You might also, if I can open it up, recognize the little red ball that's right here acting as a mouse. Now with the Lenovo ThinkPad, they've been around for a while. You might use them at work. Drop a comment if you use a ThinkPad at work. But there is now a ThinkPhone which will pair very well with your ThinkPad, and Motorola has made this ThinkPhone. If you didn't know, Lenovo actually owns Motorola, so that sort of makes sense why they would be making Lenovo's ThinkPhone overall. And I'm actually really excited to check this phone out. It actually is extremely premium. Not only on top of that IP68 rating, it has a military grade rating as well. So we'll check out that build quality. It also has a lot of special software that will sync up with your ThinkPad and go back and forth. You can use the camera as your webcam, instant hotspot, and even other ready for things. If you're familiar with Motorola phones, I'll test all these out later on in the video. It also has some high-end specs like 144 Hertz OLED display, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor, and more. So we're gonna take a quick look what comes in the box, and then of course get some hands-on with the new ThinkPhone from Motorola and Lenovo. Let's get started. Here is the ThinkPhone from Motorola with plastic-free packaging, love to see it. Also 5G and ready for compatible, which powers that think-to-think -think experience. Anyways, let's see what we get inside. First of all, it does come with a case. That's really nice, actually. Just some extra protection, extra on top of, you know, all the crazy protection it already has. Set that to the side, and we get our standard getting started guide and booklets. We have our SIM ejection tool and a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable for charging, plus a charger included, which not everyone does. Nowadays, this is a 68 watt charger, so very fast via the USB Type-C. You can also wirelessly charge this phone at 15 watts, and there it is. The new Think Phone by Motorola. Let's go ahead and power this on, and while it boots up, we're gonna take a closer look at the hardware on this device. Down at the bottom, we have our SIM card slot, USB Type-C port, microphone, and one of our speakers. Moving along the right side, a power button, volume rockers as well, fairly minimal camera bump overall. And then up towards the top, all we have is a microphone. Moving along on the left side is something special. Right up here, it's called the red key. Notice the texture. Looks very similar to something on a Lenovo ThinkPad, right? This is called the red key with various shortcuts we'll show off later on in the video, but check out the ThinkPad in comparison. There it is. This is called the Lenovo TrackPoint. Remember that as well? Just for, instead of using a touchpad, the track point, that red ball, that red nub, or whatever you want to call it, right there. They brought it to the phone. Also, this phone has an aluminum frame. Feels very premium and sturdy. On the back, Think Phone by Motorola right there with their aramid fiber inlay. It's actually kind of soft to touch, but it will be very strong and protect your device. And there's our camera system. You do get a 50 megapixel wide angle lens with optical image stabilization and a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. On top of that, just a depth sensor and a full look at the new ThinkPhone by Motorola. I'm gonna run through the startup process, just talk about anything noteworthy and then we'll dive into the phone, check out these shortcuts. There is an in-display fingerprint scanner, so we can set that up. Just set our thumb down. I do like the feel of the vibration motor overall. Anyways, continuing on through. I do like that it's in display. I'm just a big fan of it. It's a little bit lower than some other phones, but once you use a phone long enough, you get down the exact position and can set your thumb right down on it. You can add more a little bit later if you'd like to. We are all set up and ready to go. This is a 6.6 inch display, P OLED at 1080p, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus. There's our front facing camera with a little bit of a punch out there. Also worth noting, it does have a 144 hertz 
refresh rate. Love to see that. Uh, let's double check, make sure that's enabled. Actually, I'm, I'm looking at it. It is definitely enabled out of the box. Scrolling down, want to point out, there's also flicker preventions. Keep the screen from flickering in dark environments. That's kind of nice to have. And also display refresh rate. There it is. You can have it on auto. It will change depending on the type of content, which I kind of recommend having just to save battery life. Or you can force it between 144 hertz 120 hertz or all the way down to 60 hertz to actually save battery life. I do like this compact 6.6 .6 inch design though. First thing I'd like to show off is the apps. You have an authenticator app up towards the top family space, Moto app, which adds a lot of features to Android, plus Moto Secure and Ready for to connect to another display. Also, interactive wallpapers. Let's check some of those out. There are a lot of them actually. I'm pretty surprised at how many there are. Let's Select one, why not? That one caught my eye. If I select it, it's downloading it in the background. Okay, it showed up. If I tap on it, there we go. Let's set a wallpaper on the home screen. Boom, we are ready to go. You can get app suggestions if you'd like to, but there is our new wallpaper. I'm also gonna go to the lock screen because I want to test out that fingerprint scanner, just setting our finger down. Nice vibration feedback like I mentioned, plus very quick an accurate fingerprint scanner. Now I'm gonna try it without actually turning on the display. It recognizes it right away and unlocks it. I love to see it. Like I mentioned, within the Moto app is where a bunch of personalization options are, gestures as well, the classic ones, you know, chop twice, that Motorola has to turn on the flashlight, twist twice to open up the camera app. Speaking of, let's take a couple quick pictures right there. Also go to the 0.5X, which is that ultra wide angle lens. They also have a macro mode, so you can get really close to a subject and it will focus on it. That's a lot of fun to use. Some other options, slow-mo, video, portrait mode, pro mode, which is great. Change, you know, aperture, white balance, all that good stuff. And then go into more. Here's all of the options that Motorola gives you. Let's dive into it with the Ready4 app to connect to other displays, other devices such as our ThinkPad as well. You can do a group of different things. I'm going to hit let's go. And here it is, PC or tablet and choose TV or display. So let's select PC or tablet. I'm going to allow the permissions which are necessary. And then to connect to a PC, download the Ready for PC client. So make sure you have that installed. Let's grab our Lenovo ThinkPad X1 and test this out. I already have the Ready for Assistant app installed. Let's you know some of the features like app streaming. You can use the apps on your phone from your computer. So you don't even have to pick up your phone. Continuing through, you can use your phone as a webcam, which does have a better camera on it. So that is actually really nice and useful. Instant hotspot, continuing through file drop to send files back and forth from your computer to your phone and you are all set. Just go ahead and hit done. And I believe you scan this code. You can also do it via USB cable. Maybe you wanna get a little charge out of it as well, or we are gonna try it with our QR code. So let's pull up our phone camera and there it goes. It already scanned it right away. You've now paired with your device. Visible, always visible, visible when your phone is unlocked, confirm connection, show confirmation, and instant sharing. I do love how fast and snappy that connection was. That was really impressive. Let's go ahead and continue through. It says hover over the phone image to show your different options. First of all, let's do a webcam. Why not, right? So click on webcam, use your phone as a webcam. You have to install the camera driver, which makes sense. So selecting it, it opens up our camera app you need to allow it permissions, which is also fair, and got it. So we can use the rear camera as our webcam, which obviously I've got a light going, a lot of light going on behind me, which is fine, but check it out. I love to see it. Now you can also switch to the front facing camera if that's what you want. And there we go, there I am. Other options it gives you is switching cameras, freeze frame, subject tracking. So if you move around, it will actually, look at it, it's already doing it, check it out. I'm moving around, but I'm not moving the phone, it's following me on its own, and also zooming in. If you really wanna zoom in, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Hovering over the phone screen, this is really exciting. Instant hotspot, you can transfer files. You can also view the phone as desktop, mirror, or mobile. So let's go ahead and select desktop and 
actually see what it shows up as on my laptop. It vibrates on my phone letting me know. It says ready for mobile desktop lets you connect a PC. This is actually the ready for experience which is more of a desktop like experience that you can get out of this phone when you connect it to an external monitor. And there we go. So as you can see, this is all phone applications, Play Store. You can go to all of your apps right here. Uh, this is all wireless, mind you. So all of this is done over your wireless connection. So you can go to all of your apps. You know, there's the Play Store right there, your settings, your messaging app. And this is just in an application, so I can minimize this. There we go. Continue what I'm doing on my laptop and go right back to it. So that was a desktop. Let's try app streaming and that, oh, right away opens up my full app list. So you can go to your messages, whatever it is. And again, you don't have to be holding your phone. <laughs> this could just be sitting in your pocket, sitting off to the side, open up the calculator. And this, it, it, it lets you know it's opening applications on your phone, don't worry. But also this is just the calculator from the app. Oh my gosh, no way. I'm, it's giving me vibration feedback when I type numbers on the calculator. That's actually pretty sweet, and it's almost instant. So there we go, doing some calculations if you'd like to. Uh, if you wanna go back to app streaming, you can go to another application. Uh, I don't actually have very many applications all set up yet, obviously with this being an unboxing, but you can go to something like the clock. Oh, and check it out, you can have multiple open at once. I thought it would take over the calculator. It actually didn't, so we can actually have just our clock app, you know, various apps, and it shows them right here as quick shortcuts once you start opening applications. Also, check this out, press and hold, and in a shortcut, open on PC, boom. Play Store is now open on your PC. That's just so cool. Well done, Motorola and, and Lenovo. Couple more options we haven't tried. Mirror, which is very obvious. It will just mirror your phone screen, which when you control it, you know, on with your hand or even with your, uh, your laptop as well, you'll see going back and forth. I can press and hold on screens, but also check this out. You can sort of have a second phone. So if I go to mobile, let me actually click on it and it might open up. There we go. It lets you know it's open, but watch what happens when I use my actual phone with my hand. Boom, I'm using it, but it's not doing anything because I'm not mirroring it anymore. So now it's actually a separate phone, essentially. So you have two here. I should probably keep showing you because this isn't actually doing anything. This is like a second screen of your phone. So just actually super useful and cool. They have so many options. All right, last but not least, you have files. So you can obviously share your Word documents, your PDFs, all that good stuff. This is showing all of the files on my phone. So I have access to all of them without even connecting my phone whatsoever. Another quick test, if I snap a picture and go into my gallery, it also copies the image to my clipboard. Um, and I hit share, you can go down to ready for, and it will transfer on over, just select whatever is connected to it. And there we go, files from your computer, hit accept and it will open it on up. Or you can go into your camera folder, which is DCIM camera, and it has all of your images right here. You can select all of them, transfer them on over. And our last test, you'll see I have some text right here that I'm going to hit copy. So it's now on my clipboard. I'm gonna set my phone to the side and open up our notepad app and hit control V, and there it is. I, did, I promise, you're, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one, that I did not type this and copy it on the computer. It actually took my clipboard from the phone and transferred it over to my laptop. This is super seamless, I love this. Last but not least, let's check out that side key option. So here is the red key shortcut options you have, playing pause music, screen recording, launching a specific application. You can double press for ready for, love that. And there's actually actions. So you'll see if you wanna quickly go to cameras, night vision, you can uh, in-app actions, which I love seeing. Let's go back. Um, so if I want to actually open up the recorder, there we go. When I press the button, it'll open that up. Double press, let's try to double press. Boom, and it's got ready for it. Oh, and oh my goodness, it actually opened something up on my laptop. There you go. So you don't even have to you know, mess around with pressing buttons, you can just go ahead and double press this side button. Single press, again, recorder, I believe, or press and hold for just a second will bring up the full shortcut and 
single press will open recorder. There it is. So there's our recorder. Again, this is all very impressive stuff. Anyways, that is everything I want to talk about for now with the ThinkPhone by Motorola. I'm really impressed overall, honestly, with just the specs, the build quality, um, the display looks really good, and obviously the software features that it has when syncing it up with my ThinkPad X1 right there. So anyways, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe as well. And as always, thanks for watching.